Look at all these questions that we're not even asking ourselves. All these people are. Excellent creator, excellent being that knows what's going on and is working tirelessly to inform humanity that the supermarkets and the food supply in America is poisonous. All food that comes from a grocery store, all food that comes in a package is designed to deteriorate the body and to make you sick. Now, if you're on all of those foods, because we are, I got off of those foods in 2014 and it's taken me many years to get to the point that I'm in, at now, but I've had the luxury of time. Now, some of the stuff that you are seeing creators say and the things that you're seeing that the food's poisonous and all this, you don't have any idea uh, what to do about it. And it's kind of a catch 22 because we have a situation where the chemicals themselves, the chemicals themselves are what are causing the brain to not be able to function and see things clearly and they know that so if you're hearing this information whether from me or from this other creator which i highly recommend you follow him and he has an excellent microgreens business and a class on how to do it immediately go buy the kitchen microgreen set that's the first thing you do all food can be grown at home. So I'm standing in my pantry now because I have converted over for the most part to non-commercial food and I get, I will be canning once my garden gets going, you know, an actual garden that has these things like beets and things like that. But for now, I got this at a local creamery, Happy Cow. It's here in South Carolina. So what you want to do when you're making this transition out of shopping at the grocery store, but you can see I've got Cabal food right over here. This is a section of food that my husband per insists on purchasing. And I would say that the majority of the household eats out of this. Okay. But he thinks that Lay's, he thinks that Lay's potato chips are okay because the Lay's plain potato chips only have three ingredients in them. But let's look and see what is in my husband's favorite chips. So potatoes, vegetable oil, which all seed oils are bad for you. We have canola and corn, soybean, and or sunflower oil. We have maltodextrin, made from corn we have salt sugar dextrose brown sugar onion powder spices yeast extract tomato powder citric acid which is disgusting horrible mold garlic powder natural flavors paprika extracts and milk protein concentrate okay that might not sound too bad so my husband's getting away with it so he's got these things but he's got these he's got these cookies that he's buying Okay, and these cookies, they say organic on them. Just because it's organic doesn't mean that it's healthy. So the ingredients on here are organic wheat flour, organic sugar, organic palm oil, organic agave syrup, sea salt, sodium, biocarbonate, organic egg whites, natural flavor, which is disgusting, organic soy lectin and organic lemon extract so again you just think oh these are fine they say organic on them but they're not they have citric acid in them they have sodium bicarbonate which i think is uh just um i can't think of it you guys know uh baking soda but it's full of aluminum because you know they're using the cheap ones so I have gotten, because the kids love to eat um, those pouches and those applesauce pouches. So this is another way that you can beat the supermarket by going online and finding people who are making the food that you want. 
So I've got this company called White Leaf. White Leaf. And they are regeneratively farmed, biodynamic company. And they've got applesauce. This one is cinnamon applesauce. There is a plain applesauce. And then we have all of these different purees that the kids love. Even my five-year-old still loves them. Um, and they come in lots of different great flavors. Here's one is pear, spinach, blueberry, and oat. Okay, so I found all these. I found that online. And that's what I do because I will not eat. I mean, I do occasionally, but I will not eat commercially grown or food that's grown in a lab. Now, I know it's a big process and it just feels overwhelming. But I want to, to be clear that that is what is keeping you the food and what you're consuming Anything that you are putting in your mouth that goes in your body or anything that you're putting on your body, cleaning products, cleaning products, okay? All of those, they're all chemicals and those chemicals are meant to deteriorate your mind, your body, and your soul. And they affect your etheric body. And when your etheric body is affected, when your etheric body is affected, your mind's affected, your magnetism, you become demagnetized. So this is a, a super critical, important issue, especially right now, because we are in the thick of this war and mainstream media is not gonna tell you any of this. They're not gonna tell you anything. They are the enemy. Think of them as the enemy in this war. You've got to find people like the creator to this video and myself that are giving information and are helping you understand. But this is imperative. This goes right up there with getting your kids out of school, get yourself out of grocery stores, start sourcing from small businesses that are doing business online and you can order all of your food and have it here online. You can also create a garden. Now, creating a big garden like I did, I mean, I didn't have anything before I started this. I didn't have any of this. And now I do, but it's taken me three years of doing this. Three years ago, I said, that's it. Three and a half years ago, I said, that's it. I am not gonna do this anymore. I'm done with it. I'm going to take control over myself and my decisions. And I'm no longer letting my laziness, my inconsistency, and other people that I may live with or be around prevent me from figuring out who I am, what I'm here for, and how I want to live. So, Every person will have to come to this conclusion. We are in a war and this is a battle and the food is super important. And if you're eating sugar, like we all are at the extent that you're eating it, it's the same as doing meth or any kind of drug. There's absolutely no difference. Um, here's another thing to show you I'm eating because people want to know, what do I eat? Well, this is, I found this company. I found this company um, that does pho. Because I love pho in, the U, in Washington State, the Vietnamese. And I you just add water to it. And it's got all the components that you need to it. Nothing that you don't need. So look online. For foods that you're already eating, look for its equivalent of from a good company that has good uh, ingredients and isn't putting all of that nasty stuff in there that is really affecting your etheric body and making it so you're not able to move forward. 
So let me know, let the community know what are some ideas or what have you done successfully to get out of the food matrix and what are some of your tips and what are some of your questions on how to get out of it? Because I've got lots of information. Just let me know.